Miracle Boy Boxing. I am your host, Hosting Cruz, and we are going to talk about the highly anticipated fight this coming weekend, next weekend on pay per view, Showtime. Will be again, will be David Benavides against Caleb Sweethands Plant. Uh, this is a hell of a fight, guys. Both guys don't like each other. Pat Blood. It's a bit personal, which makes things in the ring, ingredient wise, explosive. Um, you know, these guys have been wanting to fight each other for some time, uh, dating back to like uh, maybe four years, maybe maybe a little more. Uh, they had an altercation at a at a gym. There could have been David's gym. There's a video going. There's a video out there, and uh. Caleb Plant was going at it with Jose Benavides, and David was right there. Da, 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 da. And when, it all, when it was all said and done, you know, Caleb was trying to calm down everyone from David's camp, Jose's camp. Uh, Plant was like, "You're disrespect. You're coming over here. You're disrespecting me." And, hey, and Jose and David with with a lot of talking. You know, it, it got the it got the Plant. Plant got pissed off so much. They said. Stay, stay, stay over there. Don't come over here. You better chill. You gotta chill. Talk to your guy. And Caleb swing and, and, and altercation broke out in the gym. Brawl happened between the camps. And I think ever since then, that was like a good three, four years back. And ever since then, you know, they got don't, both don't like each other. And, you know, they both want to beat the hell out of each other since then. So now here we have the fight this coming weekend. And it's a tremendous fight, guys. Stylistically, you know, you got a, a good, sharp, very skilled boxer in Caleb Plant versus an aggressive beast in David Benavides, who's going to come forward, uh, work on that jab while he comes forward, and while, ben, while Plant is on his back foot trying to box and counterpunch David. And, uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, David's gonna try to walk down him with that jab, and as he gets closer, he's gonna start work the head of body, trying to pepper him with those fast combinations and punching power. Um, he's trying to, you know, he's trying to tie up, make sure uh, he's trying. To, he's gonna to want to have plant on the on the, on the ropes that way he can do damage and batter him on the on the ropes while plant, you know, plant is gonna to try to. Avoid touching the ropes as much as possible. So, you know, Plant is going to want to hold on to David as he comes forward, circle him, get away from the ropes as much as possible, work that jab, work the body to the jab, work the jab to the body, trying to keep trying to keep David at a distance. But uh, you know, Plant's a shorter fighter, so working on the inside is good. But David can work the inside as well, man. He, he as big as he is, he, he he fights well on the inside. So, this fight is going to. It's gonna to come to a point where the feel out is gonna, you know, it's not gonna to last too long. And once that happens, then it's gonna, then things are gonna get really heated up here, and it's gonna get going. Uh, I can, I can see a firefight happening, and when they ha and when it happens, it's gonna be explosive. Um, so let's talk about it, guys. Let's talk about the resumes. David Benavides, 26 and 0, 23 knockouts. The record speaks for itself. He's got power in his hands. He has his hand speed. For his size, he's very fast with his hands. Uh, notable wins. Notable wins, he got Anthony Durrell, Kyron Davis, David Lemieux, and Jaylee Love. And uh, Caleb Plant has 22 wins, one loss, 13 knockouts. Notable wins against Jose Eustachiji, Caleb Truex, and Anthony Durrell. So they both have a common opponent in Anthony Durrell. Uh... Both guys stopped Darrell as well. David stopped him on, on Darrell's feet by TKO in the ninth round. And Caleb Plant uh, put the lights out on Darrell in the ninth round or eighth. I was actually at that fight live in Brooklyn, in Barclays. I expected Caleb Plant to win, but not in that fashion. Caleb is not known as a knockout artist, and Darrell has been known to have a sturdy chin. So when he connected on that left hook, it it surprised everyone that live in at the Barclays Center, whoever was watching on pay per view. Uh, put Darrell to sleep. I was not expecting Darrell to go out like that. 
you know, if he got beat, it would have been by decision. But Plank knocked him out cold. Knock out of the year. You know, that was very unexpected, but it happened, which puts him in position, which puts him in this position for this fight, which got him to this fight, you know. And now, uh, David, you know, both guys are looking for that big win in their career. They, as, as solid of, of a career they both have so far, you know, they, they both need that elite level win. And fighting each other, whoever wins this fight, is going to earn their biggest career win. You know, the one loss to Caleb, by, you know, to Caleb, for Caleb is to one of the biggest draws in boxing and superstar in Canelo Alvarez. He put up a hell of a fight and got stopped until he got stopped in the 11th round. Um, it was a very competitive fight. Caleb Plant showed that, okay, he's for real. He can compete with the best in the sport. And that's what happened on that night. But he came up short. Canelo got to him in the 11th round and stopped him. Uh, came back, KO Darrell. Now he's here, David Benavides. Last fight, stopped David Lemieux. Hard, hard puncher. You know, all exciting. Um, Canadian fighter, David Lemieux. Very explosive. One of the hardest middleweights, hardest hitting middleweights of all time. And uh, David walked through all his power shots, walked through everything David Lemieux threw at him. And not, nothing. David just smiled at him and just worked it. Worked his butt, worked his butt off, man. Head to toe, head and body, uppercut hooks, everything, hand speed. David was just, Benavidez was just too much for a Lemieux. And now they got, now here we are. The fight is going to happen. David versus Caleb Plant at 168. It is one of the best fights you can make at 168. And it's going to be on pay-per-view, rightfully so, man. Got two, two top 168 pounders. You know, top 10 for sure, no doubt. One step closer leads him to a world title shot. You know, both guys want a rematch, with, want, wants to fight Canelo Alvarez. Caleb Plant wants a rematch, no doubt. David Benavidez wants a crack at Canelo. You know, can, David definitely has been wanting that fight for some time now, and beating Caleb Plant would definitely get him there. You know, and that's, a, that's a great fight, but first things first, Caleb Plant, which is no, no easy task, and vice versa. No easy task for Plant to take out, meant to beat Benavides, but something has to give. Uh, stylistically, it's a great fight, and I'm looking forward to it. If you want a prediction out of me and who the winner is going to be, uh, this is a hard one, guys. You know, but I think David Benavides, man, he's going to get him out. He's going to get Caleb Plant out of there on his feet. I'll give it about 10, 11 round. You know, Caleb Plant knows to, knows how to use the ring well. Excellent footwork. Excellent boxing skills. He's going to have his moments. It's going to be a excellent fight. But in the end, David's going to get him in the 11 rounds from that pressure. You know, all that work that David's going to be doing for that, you know, working the head and body and you know, all that. It's going to get the plan eventually in the later rounds. And David's going to break him down and get him out of the 11th round. That's my prediction. Uh, David TKO in the 11th, 10th, 11th round after an excellent fight. Let me know your comments, your thoughts in the comment section, guys, who you got in this fight. You know, this is a big fight. May the best man win. On March 25th, Showtime pay-per-view, David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant. Solid fight at 168 pounds, one step closer to a world title shot. And this is your host, Hosting Cruz, Miracle Boy Boxing. Always a pleasure to talk to you guys about boxing. Make sure to, to like and subscribe to my channel. You know, share the love in this page. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.